back at the finish line with the woman of the moment. 12 wins in a row, two world championships in a row, someone who is on a major role. Gwen Jorgensen joins us. Gwen, take us through this race. I mean, it looked like during the run, you're sort of biding your time, biding your time, and then it was like, kaboom. <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I got out of the swim in the first lap, and I wasn't happy with where I was, and I never really felt great this entire race, and Nan was pushing the run, and I just kept thinking I want to make a move, and I just couldn't. <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, so Nan, I, their whole thinking is they're trying to make the Olympic team. They're just trying to get the numbers down, get it down to three, four people so there's not six or seven girls. Did you have a sense that it was more, that they were thinking more in terms of second, third rather than winning the race? You I never mean, know. You know. I mean, who knows? You know, they really, they seem to be going quick. I thought it was a really quick uh, run and race. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they seem to be going quick to me. First time back in the U.S. since last December to race in front of a home crowd. It sounded like every corner was Gwen, 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 Gwen. <laughs> how, I don't know how many family members you had before, but you got a lot more now. What was it like to race the uh, It's incredible to be on U.S. soil. You know, everyone was cheering, and it really motivates you and encourages you to get to that finish line. Love it, Gwen. Thank you. I know you've been doing a lot of interviews. Thank you so much for taking Thanks. time.